I am John Fan. I am an assistant chief in charge of the patrol division. Patrol division is the uniformed uh, men and women who uh, protect Fort Collins and serve in the, the marked units that you typically associate with law enforcement. I was asked if I was nervous a little bit, but I'm excited about this rite of passage, so thank you. Uh, with me tonight is Officer Brian Grosshans. Uh, Brian is the uh, genesis of this project, and I appreciate I rely on his knowledge and expertise. But we're going to hear to talk to you. It was titled Cruising, and we want to change that vocabulary a little bit because there isn't anything necessarily illegal with cruising. Driving up and down the streets, being seen, and doing it in a safe manner, stopping at a local establishment to get a bite to eat is, is part of a social passage in Fort Collins. However, when you make poor decisions and when you do it b badly and jeopardize other people, that's where we have the opportunity to step in and do some engagement education and at some point enforcement. So before, as we get into that, let me talk about why we are here and why we do anything that we do, right? It's by the guiding principles of our city, the mission, the, the vision, and the values that you guys have established as leadership here in our town, and we try to align ourselves with that through this, the strategic plan that you have developed, and specifically the strategic alignment with safe communities and talking about improving the community involvement, education, and regional partnerships, meeting the expected core level of uh, service that you expect of law enforcement and then improving safety for all modes of travel um, on our streets and in the city. That translates into our service area alignment. The tenets that Chief Soboda has put forth for us and our goals of being the safest city in the United States and using the planks of community engagement, traffic safety, crime prevention, and then personal and professional development of the women and men who serve in police services. And that's how we come to where we're at. So let's talk about why we're here. So when we talk about poor decisions and bad behaviors, that goes everywhere from uh, people who are trespassing on businesses without the business owner's permission, engaging in fights, engaging in leaving bodily wastes behind, leaving needles behind, translating it out to the streets where we hear loud motorcycles and loud exhausts and making it unsafe for the rest of the motoring public. So this project really has two parts. One is the business trespasses and one is the College Avenue traffic safety. So here's where we look at some select calls for services when we talk about the business trespasses. This is the south terminus of the circuit, and we've had people hang out in these locations. They go there to socialize and meet. They don't sit there and they don't eat, and uh, they engage, unfortunately, on occasion in assaultive behavior, disturbances, leaving behind refuse, as well as um, needles and other dangerous subjects. Brian has worked very hard to deal with the courts, our city attorney's office, finding out what does it take to get a good case before them for these business trespasses. He's worked in with the businesses to have the signage put up, talked with them to give us permission to be there after hours, that there isn't to be anybody there if they're not engaged in actual um, consumption of the products or the business, that we can enforce the uh, trespassing statute. We've engaged in education and engagement with the motor those motoring people. We go out there and we say, hey, you know, unless you're eating, unless you're being part of the business, then you're trespassing. So we will enforce this at some point, and then at some point we do. We go out there and we enforce, and we say, and we warned you, and we don't, you know, we have done some trespass citations, hit it pretty hard with the cooperation of the businesses. It's a growing project. Numbers aren't large, but we're, they're getting better, and this is just to illustrate um, the efforts that we have made in the recent years. Now, when we go in there and we say, you can't be here in the businesses unless you're eating the businesses. We know it's going to push them out into College Avenue. So we have a couple of interdiction techniques that we use. We put plainclothes officers in plain unmarked vehicles with radios, and we station our traffic units strategically. And as the unmarked officers and the unmarked cars see poor driving behavior and dangerous driving behavior, they'll radio ahead to our traffic units and say, it's the big pickup truck or it's the little Prius or whatever it is. And our traffic units will pull that vehicle over and write the appropriate citations as the next step in our engagement, education, and enforcement. In the past five years, these are some of the, the citations that we have written. And this is time limited only between 6 p.m. and 2 o'clock in the morning on along College Avenue for every day of the week. So one would think that Friday and Saturdays are the big days. However, we found that it is not limited to the weekends. It's not limited to the college and high school age students. We see families out there, and we see multiple peoples congregating there. So at this point, again, I'd like to offer my thanks to Officer Grosshans for spearheading this, and I appreciate your time.